Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about triplet feel and how it's applied in blues music. Um, when you hear a piece of blues music it usually has a sort of bouncy, jumpy rhythm to it. It doesn't just have a straight <laughs> rhythm to it. It goes like this. And this is done by applying what's called a, a, a triplet feel to it. Now, triplet feel is denoted in musical notation by the symbol that should be on your screen just now. And what this symbol says to do is basically play the eighth notes in the music, not as straight eighth notes that are equally spaced, but play them as part of a triplet that's effectively broken up. Um, now, the theory is, if you're not used to musical theory, it might sound a wee bit complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through just the basic steps as to how you get um, from these notes and how they fit into the bar, and then I'll go on and show you some exercises um, as to how it sounds once it's in the music. Okay, now we can talk about, you know, quavers and triplets and all that um, and and you know tell you the theory behind it but it's probably easier if I just demonstrate um, how these these triplets are constructed and um, how they're split up and how it gives the music this this triplet feel sound so what I've done is I've got a metronome on the phone you can download these for free um, for your phone or for your desktop um, I've set the metronome at a slow 70 beats per minute and what I'm going to do is, first off, um, I'm going to play a note every beat. The, the time signature is set to 4-4, four, four. that's 4 beats in every bar and the first thing I'll do is play a note on every beat. And these will be quarter notes or crotchets depending on where you come from. So there, um, that's quarter notes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play um, eighth notes, um, and that'll be two notes for every beat of the bar, but there won't be a triplet feel applied, it'll be straight eighths, so that means they're equally spaced between each beat of the bar. The next thing I'm going to show you is a triplet. Now, if a crotch is one note per beat, quavers two notes per beat, um, then a triplet is basically three notes for every beat. And the triplet's equally spaced out, so it'll be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, so I'll show you how a triplet sounds. Um, Okay, so that's now triplets that I've just played. Now to get to this triplet feel, all you basically have to do is not play the second note of the triplet. Um, so you're just playing the first or third note in the triplet. Um, the musical direction, you know, what it technically says is that the, the first note of the triplet gets held for the duration of the two, and then you play the third, um, which is effectively just the same as playing the first and third note of the triplet. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll start the metronome again, I'll just play straight triplets um, for a bar or two and then I'll, I'll leave out the second note and you'll start to hear um, how this triplet feel sounds. And that's it. That's how it's constructed. It's basically just a triplet um, with the middle note left out, effectively. Um, so instead of 
when you're playing eighth notes, you play the eighth note it says like that. Um, and, and that's all triplet feel um, really is. Um, there are some, some aspects of triplet feel also I talk about. Um, and these are to do with how, how the order you play um, the notes in. And that varies depending on where they lie in the bar. Um, so that's the next thing I'm going to talk about. Okay, we've talked about what this triplet feel is. Um, how it's constructed and, and, and the notes that are used in it. Um, there's a few other things I want to talk about um, about this triplet feel. The first thing is that um, it depends on where the notes fall into the bar of the music as to the, the way you play them. Um, in the notation symbol it shows two eighth notes played as the first and third note of the split triplet. Um, but that's not always the case. Um, it's dependent on where it falls into the bar of music as to how you play them. So if 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 say you had two eighth notes um, and the first of those two fell on the beat of the bar, you would play it like that. You would play the longer part of the the first note of the triplet, the longer part, and then the shorter one. However, if it doesn't fall on the beat of the bar and it falls halfway between the beat, so that would be like an eighth interval, the order's reversed, you play the third note and then the first note, irrespective of what came before, is it's where it starts in the bar of music, um, not the notes that came before it. Um, I've put together like five short examples in power tab and they're on the website and that lets you hear how it sounds in a bar of music um, and that hopefully give you a better idea. What I'll do is I'll run through a couple of these um, just to let you hear how much different it sounds. Um, so I've got the metronome again, I've put it up to 80 beats per minute now um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two eighth notes with a triplet feel um, then I'm going to have a quarter note rest and then play two again. So every time I play the two eighth notes, the first note of the two will fall on the beat of the bar. And I'll let you hear how that sounds. Okay, as you can hear from that, the first note that was played was the longer one in the triplet sequence, um, followed by the shorter one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now play two eighth notes again, but instead of starting them on the beat of the bar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it by an eighth, so I play it. I start the, the first note falls between the beat of the bar and you'll hear what a difference that sounds because you're playing the third note and then the first note. Now, that sounds totally different to the other one, um, and, and this is something that you can get caught out with when you're playing this, when you see it in a piece of music, you just automatically assume when you see two eighth notes together, you play it as but you don't, it depends where it falls into the bar of music, so you, you really you know, if you know the song, fair enough, but if not, you really need the musical notation to see, um, you know, the order they're, they're played in. Um, so just be mindful of that, and like I said, there's a short demo on, I've got on the website that'll let you hear that um, and, and get you accustomed to and play along with it if you want. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is that this triplet feel, when it's written like this, it can be applied to different notes in different ways, but in, you know, the standard one that's used, and the one that's used in blues music, um, most of the time is this one, where eighth notes are played in this triplet feel. Now, it's only eighth notes that are played in this triplet feel. Other notes at different durations are still played in, in straight time. So, 
if you have say a 4-4 four, four piece of music and you're playing quarter notes or um, crotchets, they will still be in straight time like like that. It's only the eighth notes that get changed. Um, again, this is something that can catch people out. Um, but where you really notice it most is, is in a bass line, a piece of music. Because if you've got a standard bass line constantly going, you know, you, you don't want that altered. Um, so just be mindful of that, that, you know, it's only the eighth notes that have this triplet feel applied. Again, if you're playing a piece of music just off a guitar tab, um, it can be hard to see this unless it marks the note duration on it. You really are beneficial to have um, the notation with it um, and you can see which are the eighth notes and which aren't. Um, I mean it's preferential if you can get a tab that has the notation above it as well and you get the best of both worlds. Um, but that's really all I want to say on a uh, triplet feel. Uh, go onto the website and download the example and you'll get to hear it yourself um, and just just try playing pieces of blues music that have this triplet feel applied and you'll soon get the hang it. You know, you'll get the hang it so much that you'll, you'll forget how to play eighth notes straight again. Um, so have a look on the website, download the file um, and have a play around this and you'll pick it up in no time. It is really easy to pick up. Um, and it really makes a difference to how the music sounds.